What is up? Everybody, it is the Bearded Man coming to you again with another video, and this video I am so hyped up about. Okay, why I'm hyped up about this is I'm going to get out of the way right now. I love the Mass Effect games. All of them. Love them to pieces. Uh, I just really enjoyed the story and all that good stuff that they had in it. It was just really fun to me, very immersive. I really loved how they played, and I was so sad <laughs> when they said the trilogy was coming to an end, and then they had this Mass Effect Andromeda out of nowhere, and I was like, oh my god, what? And yeah, now they have a trailer out. Now, the first thing I want to point out for this trailer would have to be this new ship that we have coming in right Ha. And it is named Hyperion. Is this possibly the new ship that we will be getting? You know? It's not the Normandy, but it's a ship. Um, and I'm really excited about this because I really did like the Normandy, but I hope that there will be some customization we can do on this ship, like maybe a mm, few different upgrades or something. I don't know. Something cool. I always like that type of stuff. Now, there was some other stuff that I did want to point out, if I can find it really quickly, about the ship, anyway. There it is. I want to point this out, because in Mass Effect 3, uh, if you played through and you went through a certain way, uh, all the Mass Effect relays got destroyed, at least by that lore. Um, so, to retrieve space travel again, maybe they uh, salvage some of the mass relays or something like that and use them as a portable device now inside of a built into like a ship or something like that. I just rambled a lot, I'm sorry about that, but it's exciting. I'm excited about this. I have difficulties staying on track when I'm excited. Again, all this is my opinion and all that stuff, but yeah. Now, with this... I would like to see that because it would make sense just going based off of the other thing whereas all the relays got destroyed or shut down whatever from the feedback wave I believe it was um, but yeah going wrong assuming this is the Hyperion because it looks like a ship built into this but it looks really nice I like it there's a few other things too how they mention that where is it? This right here. They say, so you're the new Pathfinder. I'm guessing that that's something that's going to be key to this. Um, I'm guessing this is the main protagonist that you either can choose as a guy or a girl. Um, as per usual, except now you're a Pathfinder. You're not the commander. You're not anything. You're a Pathfinder. Um, going off of this, it's kind of makes me think, okay, so your Pathfinder, maybe people or whatever this group is, they're trying to colonize a new world, or they're trying to make and establish uh, connections again with the rest of the galaxy because everyone's been cut off from each other due to the relays being taken out. Um, not really sure what that would be. Uh, there's something later on in this that they say, like, we're the aliens, which makes it so that it seems like we're going to someone else's world, perhaps. Which is interesting. Very interesting. Then there's this nice-looking new armor right here. I like how it looks. Something back here that's a type of rover. Um, it's not the Mako, and it's not the well, Hammerhead. Something new. Hope I'm really hoping we can explore planets again. I love that about Mass Effect 1 where you can go into planets. And I know that's probably not everybody's favorite feature. That was one of my favorite features is the mass ex exploration. But yeah, all this stuff looks nice. Looks really good. And looks like they're still using the Avenger as their base assault rifle. Then there's this thing. Whatever this thing is. We've I don't think we've ever seen this. Maybe it's... I don't know... No, it wouldn't be one of those. Never mind. I was thinking something stupid, but... Yeah, maybe this is some type of new thing. I don't know. We're exploring new planets, I'm guessing, from what I said earlier about the Pathfinder thing. So, not really sure what this is, but I really want to know what it is. Which, that's another thing I love about Mass Effect is the freaking codexes, but... <laughs> then, nice little still shot, not really... 
anything too substantial. Now, I think this is the same uh, rover from before. Maybe it's an upgraded version of the Mako. It looks like it is. Maybe it's a mix between the Mako and the Hammerhead. Because it looks like it's new. It looks a lot more agile than the Mako, but it looks a lot more bulky than the Hammerhead. So, maybe it's the hybrid between the two, I suppose. Get the nice view of this new thing right here. I'm assuming this is a new type of alien, because I don't remember seeing this type of alien. We can only see it from the back, for that matter, too, and that makes me suspect that this is a new type. Um, yeah, look at that. Looks so different. Don't know what that is. I want to know what it is, though. Moving on from that. Go into this. They say this is a gravity well. I'm not really sure what that pertains to, but we see one thing right here on the top right up here. We see an Asari. So the Asari are in this game still. So that's that's good to see. I'm hoping that my favorite race, the uh, Krogans, are in this too. I love Krogans. They're freaking awesome. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping to see a few of the old races as well. Later on, we see a Salarian as well. We don't see anything else, I don't believe, but that's why we're taking still frames here and not the actual thing playing. With it, see whatever this is. I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe it's some sort of prototype weapon or something. I'm not sure. It could be anything, really. There's, like, tons of different possibilities, but from what it looks like, it's possibly a beacon... I'm guessing, to say or warn, maybe something like that, I don't know, but it looks like something that's transmitting a message, at least from my opinion. We're gone, some type of fight going on, I'm guessing. Then we see a few more of those new looking things right here, not really sure, again, what these are. They do have, I believe that is the same type of leg as a Turian. So, maybe they're Turians? Not sure, but I can't really see anything up there because the, the lettering is blocking it. Anyway, I'll leave in the description down below, by the way, the link to the original video of this so you can all see it, like the trailer itself. Explosions, still frame of darkness. Then we get to see some of that N7 power armor. I'm just joking, not power armor, but. Some N7 armor. It looks nice. I like it. Nostalgic feelings. <laughs> uh, let's see. Moving on. Seeing some new stuff. Uh, whatever this is, I'm s guessing it's something substantial. Maybe. Or maybe he's just opening a door. Or she. I don't know if that's a he or she. I'm going off of body mass. It looks like a he. Um, just opening a door. Not really sure. <laughs> Moving on, there's that planet again. I think they showed this planet a few times. Not 100% sure about that, but yeah. Then we get into something a little bit more interesting than is the N7 armor again. Looks awesome as anything. Still frame of this. And this looks like it's possibly the same world as the first creature we saw. Not 100% sure what that is. And this, maybe it's a remnant from the Reapers. You know, because if we did beat the Reapers, maybe this is a remnant of that. And if it is, then that plays into an interesting concept. Maybe you'll run into them while exploring outside on new planets and stuff. Which, also, this supports maybe this is exploration right here of a planet. Not 100% sure, though. And there is that Solarian. As you can see, there's a few in the background here. The sun glare there is a little bit difficult to see. But definitely looks like a Solarian. And then there's this nun here. And this, I've, I definitely have never seen this before. Of an alien race in this game. They don't show the face or anything like that as far as I know. But I've never seen this type before. It looks interesting can't wait i'm hyped up about this it's available in spring 2017 apparently that's freaking awesome um again i can't wait 
honestly, I'm a massive Mass Effect fan. This is all just me talking about the trailer and what I like about it, what and stuff and stuff. You know what I mean, everybody. It's just me rambling, basically. Anyway, hope you have an amazing day and all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and all that good stuff or whatever. And yeah, peace out, everybody. Deuces.